So for my next motorcycle, not so motorcycle project, I wanted to create a cool wall clock using my stock Triumph Thruxton cowl and uh, make a clock that I could hang on the wall in my shop, my garage, where I've got my bikes parked and I've already started hanging up some art. But I thought a cool clock would be would be very fashionable to have and utilizing the cowl would be pretty cool. Um, the whole idea behind this is that I want to be able to obviously not ruin the cowl and be able to pull it off the clock and put it on my Triumph when I feel like putting that on the bike itself. So to test that what I did is I went to the dollar store and picked up a just a quartz basic quartz clock made out of plastic. It was $3, so I'll be able to kind of cut into it and uh, try to make this work. But the principle would be it would fit, ideally, right over the clock and then hang on the wall like so. Um, so I got to come up with a way of getting the clock to snap in place inside of the cowl uh, without ruining the cowl and then also a way of mounting the clock to the wall. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clock apart um, cut into the plastic, see how I can possibly make it fit. Uh, but the key to this is I actually measured the inside of the cowl and it's roughly nine inches and this is also a nine inch clock. Uh, so pretty convenient that they are gonna fit together very closely. So you can see that this already kind of just fits right on there. Um, the only thing that's kind of inhibiting it right now is the mounts on the inside here um, where the bolts go into the headlight. So I'm gonna cut some spaces on the side here and see if I can get it just to slip in place. Uh, and that might be enough to hold it right there. If not, I may need to get some rubber bushings or something or clips to make it kind of snap in place. Um, and then once I do that, then I got to figure out if the stock mounts on the back will be enough to hold it or if I'll need to extend it off the wall maybe a little bit um, with uh, some other type of mounting. So the first step will be to cut into it. Okay, so I've got the clock disassembled and I just have the plastic bezel here. Just It's super lightweight, cheap plastic. Um, a little bit thinner than the cowl itself, but enough that it'll be pliable and easy to cut into. So um, what I'm going to do is I measured uh, the width of this washer here and it's about three quarters of an inch. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut in from the back here, three quarters of an inch. Uh, to about midway point uh, with my Dremel and then see if I can snap that in place uh, and I might be able to hold it right in there. So I'm going to test that first, uh, see if I have to go any further. Um, but the idea would be that I would cut those slits and then be able to pop this cowl or this bezel right in place. So I'm going to give that a try. All right, so I just cut the bezel down to about a third of what the width of it was. It's really choppy right now, still need to clean it up. But if I put it down in here, boom, snaps right into place. So now the clock can screw into that and hopefully hold and then just figure out a way to mount it. So I'm going to put the clock back together in the bezel and then try to snap that in place, see how it works. Okay, so what I'm finding out in order to kind of keep this clock in place and give the ability for the cowl to kind of just be snapped on the clock, that's priority one, is um, the clock, imagine the clock's hanging on the wall and the cowl needs to come kind of from the bottom and then slid, on, slid in place like that. Um, and then rotate it slightly to obviously be in line. So 12 noon is at the top. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of just popping out. And if I were to hang it now, the cowl would kind of just slide off of the clock off the bottom. So what I wanted to do was, I'm like, well, how can I get that to kind of snap in place? And so what I wanted to do is figure out a way to do that. And I was kind of rifling through all of my motorcycle supply junk. And I found just a piece of black tubing, which I cut in half. And I'm going to glue uh, on each side, just a piece of this rubber tubing like there and there, well, this way. Uh, kind of curves with it. So I'm going to glue these pieces of tubing in place and this tubing then will uh, allow a little bit more tension between the clock bezel and uh, the bottom of this uh, washer uh, mount here uh, inside of the um, the cowl itself. So I'm going to glue these down and then once that's dry should be able to just slide the clock or slide the cowl onto the clock and then twist it uh, right in place with these providing the friction enough to hold it in, in place. So I'm going to glue those down and uh, see how it works.
Okay, so my rubber piece is glued in. I ended up just doing one on this side. Um, and when I pop the clock in place, it holds right in. And the beauty of it is, is that again, this can easily just snap out. I'm not gonna snap it out right now because it's sitting in there nicely and I wanna hang it up. And what I did for hanging is I actually went to the hardware store and I just picked up a couple of these L brackets. They came in a set of four, so I've got two extra ones. Um, and I just laid them on top of each other, uh, stuck a bolt in there, and then mounted mounted the brackets to the wall. And I know these work because I measured the distance here was a little over three inches. And when you put those together, that's just about three. Uh, so when the clock will hang, it'll sit up against the wall and have enough clearance for the cowl. So I'll show you guys that go past my bikes to where I mounted the clock on the wall. So you can see I just mounted this bracket in with two screws into a stud, put a little screw up here to hold it in place. And then uh, here I put actually an adjuster screw. Uh, and this one uh, I had left just enough, just enough room between this nut and the head of the bolt to hang the plastic for the clock here. And I put another bolt or another nut, excuse me, on the back there to hold this in place to keep this from turning. So this will actually hold the clock nice and steady. So let's put the clock on. It's always fun trying to find the hook for it. Boom. Right there. Done. Thruxton cowl clock set and ready to go. Finished product. Right next to the Thruxton itself. So all now all I need to do, pull the clock down, pop the cowl off, rehang the clock, put the cowl on the bike, and go for a ride. And that's how you make a cheap Thruxton clock.